New on Daybreak, a newspaper box that has been sitting empty will soon help fill stomachs of those in need. A local student is creating a community pantry for a school project. She just needs some help filling it up. News 8's Katie Wisely is here with the story. Let's start at the start. How did it begin? Yeah, that's right, you guys. Good morning. So the project was assigned last week with little guidance from her parents. Wynn Wilkes knew she wanted to do something that could help people in her neighborhood. It's a full bag. I love helping people. And a little heavy for this eight year old. Uh oh. But it's not stopping Wynn Wilkes from making a difference in her neighborhood. There can be some people that don't have a lot of money or they're homeless or something. It began as a school assignment, a project that would impact the community. Maybe just some water. Wilkes lives in the Holy Cross neighborhood. She found an old Nouveau newspaper box outside of Smoking Goose, a local meat locker. Green pigeon beans. And decided to turn it into a community pantry. Great northern beans. The third grader asked her dad to contact Nuvo and ask if she could repurpose it. After a fresh coat of paint, Wilkes started to gather food from her own pantry and asked neighbors for donations. I think I have 17 things, maybe? A project that's brought her family closer together. You don't want people to feel shame about not being able to feed their kids. If they need food, you need them to be able to come to a place where they can you know, reach in and grab something. Now, a family event. We come out every day to check on the box. Although the project is over, this student. Take what you need or give what you want. When we help another, we're more unified friends. Working to turn more boxes into food pantries. Maybe gummy bears or something. One step at a time. Maybe on New York Street or Arsenal Avenue. Now, Wilkes is looking for more donations to keep the current box full. You can leave donations at CFI 70 or put them in the box yourself in front of Smoking Goose, which is at the corner of East Vermont and Dorman Street. What a creative and giving <laughs> I heart. I love it. And this led you to find out what's happening with other empty Nouveau boxes. Yeah, exactly. Town. So basically, they're just up for grabs. Mm. If anybody wants one, you can have one. They're free. Obviously, they're not using it anymore since they went to all online. So. All right. So Wendy she's hoping to grab more of those. Pantry. There have <laughs> yeah. to be more of them around, too. I mean, there oh, were yeah. so many yeah. different. There are probably old Indianapolis News newspaper yes. boxes around somewhere. Yeah, she's actually already found another, so she's going to start to fill that oh, one. This is only the beginning. I know. All right. Katie, thank you. <laughs>